We are back. That's right. Hello, everyone. Joel Papacheta here, and we're back in Vintage Story on the Rusty Gears multiplayer server. Now, it's been about a month since I played Vintage Story. I know. I know. It's quite a long little time, and I've missed you guys, too. Oh, my goodness, have I missed you, cats. But that doesn't matter anymore because here we are back again in our glorious, beautiful world. So I got to admit, I did get a little burnt out of Vintage Story, and, you know, I just had to take a break. Sometimes it happens, and then I caught COVID. COVID. I know. Oh god, one thing after another, am I right? But also too, I've been playing a mod for Minecraft called Vault Hunters. It's really stinking sweet. I've been having a lot of fun with it. And why don't you cats and kittens do your old Papa Cheddar here a favor? Go check out Vault Hunters as it would really help the channel and that series to grow. So go check them out. Enjoy your time running through dungeons, getting fat loot with your old Papa Cheddar in a brand new Minecraft experience. Well, it would just mean the world to your old pap here. But anywho, we're not here to talk about Minecraft. You guys can check that out after this video. That's right, we're here to play Vintage Story. And I gotta tell you one thing, I don't remember what we were doing. That's right, I know. Shocker. But I don't. So, uh, I logged on and most of my food was all rotten away. See, in here I got ton- hey, even all my rot's gone, did it? Uh, all of my rotten food has disappeared and, uh, well, I, uh, I don't know where it went. I was having some uh, difficulty issues with my sound and everything, and so I had to log off, log on, and kind of fix it, and now my, all my rotten food is gone. That's weird. Huh. Well, I don't know. I guess I won't worry about it too much. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yes, so I'm sure there's a lot of things that have been happening on this server while I've been gone. People are probably progressing up into the space age, and we're sitting here barely cracking the surface into steel. So, uh, with that being said, why don't we go run around and check out what has, uh, been going on? Oh, that's right, my flying machine's almost broken. Heh <laughs> That's good. Guess I better go and get that repair kit all the way over there. That's okay, we haven't ran this in quite some time, so it's an adventure, let's go! Well, that's new. Yeah, people have been busy. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, all right. A wolf and hyenas, What are you guys should be natural enemies. You shouldn't be hanging out together, thwarting your old Papa Cheddar's advancements. Anywho, what a weird, weird combination. Let's hope they don't breed and become some sort of, uh, Indomitable super beast with the cackling laughs of a hyena. Hi, rooster. Fwap. Oh, I missed. And the, uh, you know, I don't remember where I was going with that. Yes, cackling laughs of a hyena and the aggressiveness of a wolf. Well, I got it. That's just a combo we don't need in this realm. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. Make like some sort of mod where you can create chimera beasts. You know what I'm saying? Some sort of secret underground laboratory where you're just experimenting, creating, uh, you know, adding a pig to a chicken. <laughs> Making a, a pickin' or, or something? I, I don't know. A chig? Yeah, ma making a chig. <laughs> ah, don't forget to milk the chig. That's right, you can milk chigs, although it's not as good as badger milk, but you know what? It's, uh, it hits the spot. So here we are in our industrial zone. Everything's probably dead. They're dying. And bees are probably out of control. These things are, hey, dormant, although... Some of them appear to be dead. Yep, a lot of dead, dead, he's dead. You're alive, the pink apples, that's cool. But it's dormant, it's vernalized. Oh God, it's been vernalized. Who, who vernalized my trees? Alf, alf, stinking, cut them. Okay, so only the pink apples are alive, everything else is dead. But hey, what are you, uh, what are you gonna do? These are all 50% cold damage, oh. You know, we got death, we got 50% damage, damage damage everything's damaged and dead i mean i've been gone for like a month so that's been probably a couple of years in the grand scheme of things here so i was making steel yeah 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 yeah. and uh looks like we need more quartz and more bauxite do i even have any of that here nope i sure don't okay so no i don't have any bauxite here or i don't even know if i have bauxite way over there we might have to run and go get more bauxite and, um, 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 let's see, I think Apache has moved in, uh, his area over here. Maybe something like that, I'm not sure. Yeah, 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 something, something like that. But anywho, I came here for this. That's right, the large service kit. There we go, that's, uh, that's what I stinking wanted. And I think that's what I needed, I don't know. But from the look of things, we need, um, 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 um. We need refractory bricks. So oh, we need fire clay, we need quartz, and uh, I do I do think we have bauxite. I'm not really sure 100%. Um, yeah. 
Okay, well, what a daunting task for, you know, us who have been gone for a month now and everything. But that's okay. Because by gummit, we're up to the task. Ooh, clouds. The heck is that? It's got initials in it. RC, Romeo Charlie. Does that mean really cool? Rhinoceros Circus? Oh, that'd be a fun one to see. I'd go to the Rhinoceros Circus. I can just imagine a couple of rhinos and tutus walking a tight beam, you know, being all cheeky, you know, calling to their mates and stuff like that and other rhinoceros things. But um, yeah, wow, people have been expanding, growing and doing, moving, shaking stuff. Something right there and wowie, wowie, wow. What a, what a, what a thing. Oh, this guy's still alive. Yeah, and you got a little friend too. Well, that's nice. Are there any chicks around here, huh? Any bodilicious babes for my ramitational friend? I don't know. It looks like you might be riding solo there, amigo. Well, I mean, yeah, just just be gentle. Just be gentle. We'll, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Ah, into the lion's den. Hi. Wow. Wow. Or the hyena's uh, hut. Oh, there's quats right there. Let's go get some of this quats. Oh, we might as well. It's on the way. It's one less stop. Yeah, quats right here, huh? Oh yeah, there's some quats. Okay. Um. Well, let's uh, let's dig down. I suppose. How do I? X. Yep. X. Look at me. I remember buttons. Professional gamer. Okay. Well, that's probably good enough for now. Let's um. And I mean, may I? Might I add that this is such a diagonal uh quartz vein? I mean, huh? I'm going straight down, 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 baby. And this side's going up, 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 apparently. And we got a little bit of bismuth to boot. So, you know, all in all, a uh, successful little mission here. Not too bad. Oh, it looks like I do have some bauxite here. So I don't really have to go anywhere if I don't want to, I guess. But you know what? We're uh, we're making a video. We might as well go do a little more exploring. And I get a little bit of content. Because that's what the people really want to see. They want to see um, uh, mining. There we go. Hey, let's see if I still remember how to how to fly this thing. Okay. Um is this that's power. Yep. Okay. Aha! We have a lift off, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, we're good to go. And a power boost, if I remember right. Yep, that's gonna drain our energy and stuff. Okay, neat. All right, we are off on adventure. And um all right, let's go get some bauxite. Maybe a little flying montage is in order. Hmm. I think so. Nothing like a good old fashioned montage, you know what I'm saying? We are approaching the target destination of our box site. So it is time to begin descending into the complete and utter darkness because it is, well, complete and utter darkness. Dark, it's it's really dark here is what I'm trying to say. I can't see a thing, I don't know. I mean, apparently we're above water right now. I have a map, I can tell that much. Um, yeah, we're almost there. I think I'm going down. I'm not, not really too sure. Am I, oh yep, there we go, there's the ground. All right, look at that. Easy landing, baby. No hostiles, I believe. And uh, how do I how do I get out of this puppy? Hey, just like that. Oh wait, I need to. Yep. Okay. You can tell it's been a while. Okay. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the bauxite zone. Though I can't see where it is. I think it's over uh, down. It's that way. I don't know. I'm gonna look around for just a second. In the darkness. Ah. I found some. Excellent. Okay, so I'm gonna tap away at this here bauxite for just a wee little bit, and then we can get back and, um, well, you know, commence the crushination of these here mineralos. And, well, then I think we'll be looking pretty good for refractory bricks. I wanna at least accomplish, accomplish, ah, I wanna at least talk words today. No, speak words is what, you know, anyway, you know what I'm saying. Eh, I don't, where was I going with that? Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh yeah, we want to at least try and make refractory bricks in today's episode. So then in the next one, we can make a whatever it's called and get good metal stuff that is gooder than iron and meteoric iron and stuff. <clears throat> 
Anyway, okay, well, I think that's, uh, I think that'll be good enough. We cleared out a lot, a lot of this little underground zone, and, oh, that's blue clay. Oh, yeah, I need, I need fire clay, too. That's right, I almost forgot about that. That's a very crucial step in this, um, I parked my ship right here, yes. In a very crucial step in this endeavor of for which we're undertaking currently. Can I sit? I need this one? No, can I? Up, up, ha, okay, there we go. A little laggy, little laggy, but that's all right. And up we go. Maybe there's fire clay around here somewhere that I marked and didn't see until later. Well, there's tin and there's a deep cave. Wow, look at me. I'm so organized. Ah, whatever. We'll just, uh, let's go fly back and, uh, maybe he will find a deposit along the way. It, what time is it? It's zero o'clock in the morning. Zero fifteen. Zero fifteen in the morning. It's pretty early. Or is it late? Well, you know, I think if it's after midnight, then it's early. If it's before midnight, then it's late. I think that's the general, the general rule. At least that's the rule I'm going off of right now. The Gabagool rule. That's what they say. It's the rule of Gabagool. Anyway, I'm going to do some flying me. I'll talk to you cats here in a minute. Whoa! Ha! That's what I get for flying in the dark. I was ran straight into a cliffside. Well, that could have ended poorly if this had, uh, you know, more realistic flying and driving conditions. But thankfully it doesn't, so we're okay. Oh yeah, I have a shop, don't I? Well, I have two shops, actually. So on the way, let's, um... I mean, they're right down there. Might as well go swing by and see what's cracking, although I doubt anything's sold, because I'm pretty sure I, I I was out of stock on everything before uh, before I took a one-month hiatus and everything. But, uh, you know, you never know. You never know. I never restocked, so there's nothing really to buy if there's, you know, nothing really to buy. That's just basic economics for you. Courtesy a la your old Papa Cheddar here. Alrighty, here we go, and... Hey, alright, we actually, there was a couple of things left in the old mystery box shop, so we got 25 more stinking gears. Nice, that's not, uh, it's not too bad. Apparently, you know, cats just do whatever they want with the chest. You just leave them up here, you put dirt down there. Oh god, these people are animals. I'm working and living with a bunch of animals. And there's the biggest animal of them all. Hey, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, I forgot I made the floor ice. Okay, yep, nothing, um, where did that go? Eh, whatever. Like somebody stole some beans from me, but you know, that's fine. Yeah, we're, oh wait, I sold flax fibers. I, for... I was like, hey, I didn't know I was selling copper nuggets. I'm not, this is the currency. I forgot about that, it says it right there. Um, okay, well, I got more, more noogies, I guess, that's cool. All right, well, see you later. All right, what an inspiring trip down memory lane. Um, now that out of the way, let's let's get back to brass tacks. I never understood why they they said it. I don't think any tacks are made out of brass. You know what? I, well, I mean, maybe they were back in the day, but no longer. I mean, unless there's, I'm sure it's a niche market now. You might be able to go find some brass tacks, but I think they're like aluminum now, or maybe a stainless steel or something. You know, for strength, general rigidity. I don't know. I ain't no whale biologist, I'm just saying. Anywho, I'm rambling, so let's uh, let's get back and start pulverizing some of these poor innocent little stones. Yeah, my breath probably smells so bad on a side note. I'm eating nothing but onions right now. You can smell me from a mile away. Maybe that's why the hyenas always run away from me. <laughs> it's my breath. It smells like an ogre. Because they're like onions. They have layers. And stuff. Oh, and dawn is breaking over the horizon, cresting it, if you will, as we make our descent into the, um, well, our area here. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And up we go. Now, one of these days, I gotta finish this stinking place, too. There's uh, so, so much to do. Always so much to do. Oh, so clear quartz doesn't, um, crush. I feel like that's a lesson I've already learned. But, uh, whatever. I'll learn it again, I suppose. That's fine. Um, okay, so let's, uh, while we wait, we might as well just, um, I mean, make what we can. And I don't think these need to go in any particular order. They do not. And 20 unfired refractory bricks. That's enough for, oh god, what is it, like two? Two, uh, blocks, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. It's enough for two. Yeah, it's enough for two. Oh, I gotta make mortar also. Holy smokes. 
I'm nowhere near close to doing this. <laughs> I just, oh, geez. Lime. Lime. I gotta bake lime. Do I have lime? Oh, yeah, that's why I brought all this stuff over. I got lime and stuff. I just gotta bake it. Is chalk lime? I feel like chalk is lime. Grinds into lime, so yeah, that means it's probably lime. And then we bake it into quick lime. We make it into slack lime, and then that turns into mortar. Okay. I think I got the hang of this. Look at me, professional gamer. Oh, yeah, we can only do 16 in each, right? That's right. See, I know what I'm doing. Professional gamer. I don't have near enough stuff for any of this, though, so... We're gonna have to come back to this one, I think. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, that's a lot of- that's a lot of barrels I did. <laughs> that's a lot of stinking barrels I didn't mean to make that many barrels. Okay, well, we got, um, we got plenty of barrels, I guess, now is what we got. Okay, that's good. That's good. Ah, there it is. All of our lime cooking up. About to do it real stinking quick. Aha! Yeah, it goes quick lime, right? At least, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we bake it into lime. Okay, let me see, what's this ratio? One liter to four, so... How can we fit that in? I think it's 64, 40, 10. 10 liters, 40 each, 10, yeah, 10 liters. I think a barrel's 10 liters, is that right? Yeah, 10 liters, right there. Okay, let me get some of these barrels ready, and uh, we'll do 40 in each. How a bam Actually, we might be able to do more than that. Uh, can I just... Oh, no! I mean, we got enough barrels, we might as well, you know? I just don't remember what the stack size is. It's probably 64, but at the same time, I just don't know. We'll figure that out, cross that bridge once we come to it, I guess. All right, that's all our buckets sorted. Okay, I think we got all that sorted. Oh, yeah! I had made, I got all these stuffs because I was gonna build this, this place up. I'm not gonna do that right now. It sounds like there's an airplane going up overhead, but I know there's not because that hasn't been invented. Well, I guess there's airships. I guess that could be flying overhead making a crazy noise, but no, it's not. Wow, these take so long, so long to cook. I'm, I'm not gonna have, I thought I had enough fuel, but I'm not gonna have, oh my God. I'm about to use all of my, uh, my peat. Goodness gracious. Thought half a stack would at least do something, but it's gonna get me like eight of them each. That is quite ridiculous. Okay, um, well, let's just top these all off, I guess. Okay, they all have their own dedicated stack of peat. And, um, well, I mean, that should get us some, I guess. Some. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna let this automation run for just a wee little bit here. Try and finish up all of our lime, get it into the barrels, get the slacked lime going so we can get our mortar popping off. And, um, you know, in the meantime, I might also go and try and dig up some more fire clay. So that way in the next episode, we'll be ready to create those tier two, those tasty twosies, refractory bricks and get building the, um, oh God, I still can't remember what it's called, the... The conservatory or the kiln, the whatever it's called, the furnace. You know, what I need to make metal harder. You know, it should just look at me and then bam, hard as heck. But no, <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So we'll end it right here. And in the next one, we should be ready to do that and get cracking off on tier five tools of the Steely type variety. Old Steely Dan. He's going to be quite proud of us right here. I can feel it. I'm going to go give him a call. Old Steely Dan. I think that's a musician. I'm not really sure. We should look it up. But that's a time for another time. Well, that's a thing for another... Anyway, don't forget to go over to my channel. Check out the new Vault Hunters Minecraft modded playthrough. Because I think it's something you cats will quite enjoy. So go give it a check out. Give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to your old Papa Cheddar Gaming. So I'll catch you cats on the flippity flop. And as always, I love you. Bye.